welcome to another episode of For the Record. So, today's album I want to talk about is going to be DJ Bobby B, 99 Rips and Beyond. Uh, this was his very first solo album after being in the Cottonmouth Kings, I believe. Uh, he says he was in another group before the Cottonmouth Kings. I can't remember what the name of that was. Uh, DJ Bobby B also does live streams uh, quite often if you go to Twitch. He has a Twitch page where he's always on live streaming. One thing about this album I found really unique uh, with this. Well, I have two different albums that are kind of like this. Not just this one. You can tell that this is one of those kind of like homemade albums you can tell that this was printed like from an actual like kind of like home type printer thing um this thing must have used a, a fuck ton of ink anyways um this album was sixty dollars well it was a fifty dollar album ten dollars shipping totally worth it in my opinion but one other thing i want to show you guys which is pretty cool well, I mean, it's cool, whatever, if you want to take it that way. It's really is what it is. Um, if you can tell, the edges here, they're not like uh, a regular record. It's actually like a flat surface right here. And then on this part, you see all the dead wax. There is no spiral that goes to the end where the stamper is on here. And... This, to me, um, it's like 180 gram, 200 gram, something like that. It's pretty much, like, even on this side, it doesn't have it. There's very little space left on that side. Um, this is like one of those records that you would find that are made at your house or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Or like an independent company somewhere where... They're not pressing records. It's an actual needle that's going into a piece of vinyl. And it's putting the music on the vinyl itself. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so even like if I were to play this on my Pioneer turntable. When it gets to the dead wax right here. It's not going to go anywhere. As you can see there's nothing here. So the needle will not lift itself up when it gets to the end because it's never going to get to the end it only goes to here and then even on this side i don't think it would actually lift itself up on this side it would stay right there so you technically have to lift the needle up and that's how it is on like an audio technica a technics sl 1200 stuff like that anyway so i thought that was pretty cool and uh one thing i like about this album which i like about dj type albums um is you get a bunch of mixture of music so where it's like hip-hop jazz infused type stuff um you can tell where their rock influences are and it's really nice because you can pin out pinpoint like certain things in that and um even on this i believe uh on this album uh d woke and uh saint dog we're also a part of this album. If I do remember correctly, don't quote me on that one, please. Um, but anyways, I just thought it was a really good album. It's one that I wanted to showcase for a while and just show you guys. And it even comes in the proper sleeve, so I don't have to change it out. Um, I was actually pretty impressed with this. And when it was shipped, it was shipped with the vinyl outside the case. Um... There is, like, realistically no spine here. As I said, I feel like this is a homemade thing. And as you can see, it's just, like, a regular paper. You know what I'm saying? It's not, like, super thick cardboard like some other things. But I just think it makes it more unique. And the only other album that I have that's actually same same kind of deal. Um, and it's crazy, too, because it's uh, if you feel the cover... The cover also, it has a certain feel to it. You know what I'm saying? It's got that, like, uh, glossy type matte type finish feel to it. So it's it's got this, I, I can't even explain it. So it's got this feel to it, but it just has a different feel to it. And uh, 
my Manson, um, the family uh, jams. That one actually has the exact same type of cover built, which you can feel it. It feels the exact same way. There is nothing on the spine. Um, and it actually has the vinyl, but it's a lot more flimsy. This one's actually like durable, like 180 gram, 200 gram, something like that. Maybe even 220. The other one, really flimsy, but you can tell it's a homemade thing. And uh, for any of you guys that do want to check out Bobby V's uh, live stream, I'm actually going to play a clip here right this second. Put that in the video. And uh, definitely check this out, all right? And get your groove on. It's the DRE, the spectacular. Mm. This is going out to Mellow Dust. <laughs> yeah. So, what would you think about that? Um, I thought it was pretty dope. Um, hopefully, he doesn't, uh, you know, <laughs> hate me too much for putting that in my videos there. I don't know if he ever does watch these. I have talked to DJ Bobby B before. Um, and out of all the Cotmo Kings members that I have talked to, well, pretty much DJ Bobby B is like the main one. d Woke has messaged me back a couple times, but... Uh, I would say DJ Bobby B is pretty fucking humble and he's a pretty cool guy. I really do enjoy his live streams and uh, I just think everything about this album is amazing. And you can go on, uh, you can just Google this uh, and it will come up. And I definitely advise you to pre-order this. And he also has a website right now. It's called TheRealDJBobbyB.com. I'm actually going to put the link down below. I'm going to put his Twitch down below and I'm going to put... Uh, the website where you can buy his uh, albums and stuff and he's supposed to get all his albums on vinyl soon and they are doing a repressing of his first group that he was in they're going to do a repress of that album too so I'm definitely going to buy that and he soon will be selling tr uh, shirts soon and also his truck that has won many awards is actually up um uh, so anybody has a chance to win it, you just got to join his, uh, not Patreon, but like his little uh, club thing on the TheRealDJBobbyB.com. I don't know a whole lot of information on it. I try to catch it here and there when I'm at work, so I don't get to catch every single live stream. I have seen some pretty dope live streams, and I've actually seen him uh, play a couple from this and I noticed it right away because I've listened to this a fuck ton. I really do love this album um, It definitely goes in with the you know, like the very beginning of Cottonmouth Kings type era I don't know exactly when this album was released. I believe this was like 2000 or 1999 somewhere around there. I can't really remember exactly, but this is definitely fucking dope uh, 99 rips and beyond This is an A plus album all killer no filler and i suggest you highly getting it and that's all i gotta say about this album and i hope you guys enjoy this video i got more videos coming on the way and i've already picked out the next couple albums that i'm going to talk about here and we are back into full swing on doing final reviews here at for the record thank you to everybody for subscribing thank you for the record family you guys are amazing and i hope you all have a nice day and enjoy take it easy peace